feel like an Easter egg. Is your name in the game somewhere? Uh, no. Out of luck, they put like double if, pump, which you know, of course, the double pump, the switch back and forth feature right. is is in the graveyard. I would have loved if they put that on a grave. I'm just late. Pete, Dude, no, if you're watching, my friend. If they put me in this game, I will cry. My friend, I would you're about literally. To have an, you're about to nope. have an emote, a Twitch emote. That I'm not sure of. That Maybe. I'm not 100% percent deserve it. <laughs> but as we said, guys, please use hashtag fall skirmish. Answer that question about the meta. Make sure to tag us so we can see what you're saying. We're checking our Twitter and I'm, we're responding. Yes, I, I believe so. He's the, the most winningest. The most <laughs> winningest player. <laughs> <laughs> the most winningest. Look at this. They land in containers. I like smart this landing. Yeah, yeah, very smart drop. You get a lot of loot, a lot of mats. If you get to yourself, you're leaving there in a pretty good spot. There's also a vending machine. People don't uh, prioritize vending machines as oh! much as they should. And look at that ninja. Wait, knocked out Caillou, but then got knocked out by General. So that's what happened. Ninja is gone again. Match number three here. Ninja gets taken out early. Wow. That is a rough start that there. My mind. I, 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 I personally, especially in early in the early game of Fortnite, I consider Ninja to be a top five player. And, you know, it's an interesting conversation. We'd love to hear people in the chat's thoughts. You know, I think not being at Summer Skirmish maybe put him, set him behind a little bit. Of course, he's still unbelievable, the greatest entertainer of our generation, mm. uh, but is, is a top five pro player. Regain his throne as the king of Tilted. Let's see what he can do here. General, who's performed really well in the early game, they take out Cypher. And so Ninja and be, Cypher yep. both out again. This is the replay. Ooh, well played. It was all general all wow. day. Wow. And look, he has barely, he had just gone down. And Ninja couldn't confirm that elimination. That was close. But look at this. Greasy boy. Courage, JD. Here. So is Hogman and Pupper? Is it rude for me to call Courage a, gre a greasy, boy? greasy boy? Like, I feel it's, like that's well, derogatory. Well, that's, that's what he calls it. He says be part of the Greasy Boys. Right, so that's I, why I don't I, feel bad. Okay, I feel better then because I feel like I'm, like, calling him something. <laughs> All right. Greasy Boys. Snobby. We've got the Snobby Boys. Shout out to Bay Soldier and Strugs and Snobby Boys. We've got the Greasy Boys. I love it. He is a crazy boy. I'm going to hit him up later and be like, yo, this is what uh, Fallout said this about you. How do you feel about this? That's what I asked first. I clarified. You know. No, you're good. He uh, calls himself a greasy boy. All right, boy. good. I feel a little bit better now. He's speaking of greasy people. No, okay, I can't say that. <laughs> Anything I've ever seen. It was amazing. The Lazy Lynx experience, the whole yeah. Fortnite experience at PAX West. They rented out a parking lot across the street from my apartment, which is the most cool thing oh, in the world. Oh, yeah. We talked about that. Yeah, that was, the, that was awesome. And uh, one of the best experiences I've ever seen in gaming. It was great. It was awesome. Just wait for TwitchCon. No way. Oh it's going to be baller. That's where it all ends. Don't forget. I can't believe it. Hopefully more. More of the same and more of the better. At TwitchCon, we'll see. We will. But check this out, man. Hogman and Pupper are taking shots. Pupper dropped He's hurt. super Nick A30, low. former uh, Summer Skirmish caster. Yeah. Awesome, awesome guy. Dude, YouTube streamer. Nick A30, I'm going to say this, and I'm comfortable saying this. One of the nicest, I mean the nicest. He's Canadian. The nicest man I've ever met in my whole life. I'm talking the nicest. The nicest no one's of your nicer. entire life? In my entire life. Wow. He was so nice. Like, how about your mom, your dad? Ah, they're, they're, nice they're not Nick A30, Not man. Nick A30. They're well. not Nick A30. Wow. True story. Unbelievable. He is, uh, yeah. So you can just tell, watching his stream, some humble Genuine, guy, yeah. Smart, intelligent, breaks things, brings things out very well. Big shot to Nick A30. Let's see if he can play, though. Space line, his teammate going to take out Pupper. Well played for starters. And now Nick A30, some defensive building. He is one of the most analytical players. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to be going up against Saint to his right. I wonder, or sorry, Myth and Saints to their right. Oh, two versus so two fight. Saint wasn't here. So Myth was by himself in Greasy. So Saint must have done, oh, they must there. have split landing. Yeah. Saint's there behind him. No, but I'm saying he wasn't there to start. Oh, so okay. I think he, he wasn't. just got, he here. Just got yeah. there. Yeah. Right, here we go. Myth, look at the aggression. Myth is playing out of the high ground a little too high. He might lose his uh, footing and take some fall damage. I know Myth loves uh, loves himself some fall damage. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's going to be Nick A30 trying to get some high ground. What an epic battle. Nick A30 versus Myth. Myth's going to get lower ground. Going to turtle up a little bit towards the low side. Meanwhile, keep, keep your eye on the bottom left of your screen. Chat picks up one if you're a Liquid Chat fan, but we got to watch this fight ensue. Myth and Saint playing aggressive here. You love the aggression from Myth who also, speaking of great individuals, great players, and just positive people all around. Yep. I love watching his streams. Myth is, uh, so I've actually known Myth since he pretty much got started. He no started way. streaming Paragon back in the day. Amazing. Uh, and I got to meet him, and then one day he just exploded, and he yeah. was just the guy. And I was like, dude, I, I remember when you played Paragon. And he was like, it's different now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Uh, it's Porta the Fortress. Porta Fortress. As if he didn't have high ground enough, he's going to give himself even more high ground. I don't know why exactly. Maybe he's going oh, no. to make sure that they couldn't knock the cover underneath him. Now Myth is going to be uh, trying to get some high ground of his own. You saw him, man. That was crazy. Yeah, so uh, Porta Fortress, that's a fun new game. Uh, item added to the game, rather. Uh, 
Oh, play. wow. Nick 830 cracks back with the SMG and takes down Myth. And not only the SMG, the whole sequence right there from Nick 830. The quick edit to get the first shot on Myth and then really caught Myth with his pants down right there and was able to capitalize. So well played from Nick 830. One of the best quick edit, clean edit players I've seen and I have a chance to watch on YouTube. Mm. Big shot to Nick representing YouTube Gaming. On, on board with him that, right now. He, when we cut to him, he had no AR ammo. He had like three rounds in his burst, wow. and he only had enough slugs and SMG ammo. Unbelievable. So he did that with basically nothing. That's amazing. And what they want to see here, we haven't seen a lot of it. I think these pro players can take a, a, a page out of some other, other titles and other books of competitive gaming titles. Take your two versus one advantages very smart. There's no reason that Space Lion goes down or Nick goes down here. It's a one versus two. You have a numbers advantage. Play it wide, play it slow, and guarantee the dub and the kill right here the victory over Saint Squad. <laughs> to be a little bit critical here, I think that's the same thing we were talking about last game. They use those Porta Fortresses in the early game when maybe they shouldn't. Like maybe yeah. they should hold on to that and use it towards the late game. Uh, instead, they drop it, I think, a little bit unnecessary there. I don't know if a Porta Fortress when you already had high ground is uh, the most mandatory thing to do, but now Stain Squad, look how well they're playing this. Using oh, their high oh, ground. Oh. Yes, they got a down, but nice job. That's that's textbook from uh, Space Line Nick A30. I'm yeah. okay with the down there. There you go, and they just pick them back up. They secure an elimination, and now they can just be on their way, secure loot. Granted, uh, Saint really only had two weapons, yep. some ammo, some mats, but Nick at least they're on their way. Look at this One man. elimination for him, coming from Tilted. So he's about to be fighting a one versus two, two versus two against Merksman and KP5. And keep in mind, the rotation for Nick A30 should be coming soon. Interviewing players, interviewing Nick uh, at PAX West. But at PAX West, I uh, started a couple of Nick Merckx chants. Any M fan that were there, remember. But I may or may not have started a Ghost Aiden chant just to kind of spice up the story a little bit. And Nick's dad, who is just as big as Nick, came up to me and, and shook my hand. And I thought my hand was going to break and said, if you cheer for Ghost Aiden one more time, and you better believe that was the last Ghost Aiden chant I started, that's for sure. Oh, they are, they are wonderful people, but oh, also no. an oh, unbelievably no. intimidating. No, Nick, not like this. Yeah. He slid between the little cracks there. Man. And now Parallax takes him Unfortunate. down. Unfortunate. Legion has full shields, full health. Parallax and Kenneth are both weak. I think that could have been a Nick, a Nick uh, victory right there. That's really tough. And now they're inside Shifty Shafts again, man. Like you talked about, the spectator mode. You can kind of see in the top right where other players are. Look at the little, uh, those little like yellowy diamonds. They immediately snap in the direction the shots are coming from. They're like, what's going on out there? There's something happening. King Richard picks up his down first space line. Over space line, yeah. So yeah. Nick A30 might be out as well. Not sure yet. Legion is going to get taken out. So Nick and Legion both down. Nick had one elimination, not enough for points just yet, but they did survive the tilted fight, that's for sure. Jared FPS, a mixer streamer representing the platform here. And uh, Parallax is part of Dusty Dogs. So Dusty Dogs Dusty has showed Dog. up. I don't know what the standings are currently. We'll find out for, you, for everyone. But uh, Dusty Dogs is playing well if you're a fan of the Dusty. Good performances so far. Man, Fallout, check out this scoreboard. So Parallax with wow. three eliminations. Does, so if, does Kenneth, Kenneth have one? There? He has none. No, not that we can see, at least. Nothing Maybe on page see. two. Okay, so Nate might, Hill with two. Go yeah, School so with two. General one. with two. Pookie Face and Tyler's are here, and Liquid Strafe is uh, not that far away. Look at, yep. Look at Jared FPS just turtling up here. And show us the love for the mixer partner here. 38 is the number of on his uh, of his team. I think he doesn't have a teammate here. I don't see any other 38s on my screen, so I think Jared is by himself. Don't either. He might be. General gets his third. <laughs> General, man, he's insane. Uh, he, he took out Ninja and Cypher pretty much 1v2 in terms yeah. of elimination. I mean, wow, he is such a good player. Currently a free agent, I believe, not under an organization, so really excited to see where he lands, where his home is. A lot of great organizations entering the scene. VGJ, we got uh, FlyQuest who uh, picked up some folks in September and August. A lot of great esports orgs entering the scene. Look at this. 58 players still left alive. Fallout. These lobbies are insane. They're incredibly stacked. I mean, wow. I, I, this is going to get hectic incredibly quick. Yes, sir. 58 people, like you said. Unbelievable. Courage, though, is no. not looking be in a great spot. Courage, I believe. The storm, two, one. Oh. He's going to be knocked. That's Courage down. Knocked by the storm currently. Look at Envy Lenane. I believe the French Canadian for Team Envy representing the boys in blue. Let's see what he can do here. Now, here's the thing Courage AD's partner is very close by, uh, but those are grenades ricocheting near the structure, bringing the whole thing down. So Courage just played themselves. So he's, I'm assuming, knocked by the storm. Now Lenane, uh, yeah, they're just like Zate's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up all that loot. Why not? Yep. 
Circle are ready on a quick rotation. Yeah. So one thing I have noticed, talking about meta, is the difference in North America and Europe. North Americans seem to rotate a lot quicker. I think they learned the hard way at PAX West. Of course, Europe did not have a PAX West equivalent to compete in. Right. So they maybe have not learned that lesson yet. I don't know what the reasoning is. Ooh. I can't speculate. I can just analyze it. But I am seeing quick rotations, which is smart for North America. I think the importance of rotations cannot be understated. A lot of, a lot of um, great. That's one thing I noticed. If you are, if you have not been to a live event yet for Fortnite, it was one of the most amazing things. I didn't know how awesome the Fortnite community is. Like how much of a community it is. I thought these people were kind of individualistic. They all wanted to to succeed on their own. But really, it's it's a great community. Everyone's so cool in person, and the community feel at PAX West was unlike anything I, I've experienced coming from other other titles and other communities as well. Yeah, and on top of that, uh, to what, piggyback, what we actually... name, by the way, double kill, double elimination here. Oh, big plays. Sorry big about that. Plays. Oh no, just to piggyback off that. Uh, I think a lot, another thing we really appreciated was that we got to hang out with a lot of these competitive players and just talk to them, right? Have conversations to figure out, you know, what they what they were excited about as far as Fortnite, what what things they think we could change and whatnot. So we just got to have like a just genuine conversation, and that was just awesome to see. On top of that, so many of them just showed up for their fans. It was just an unbelievable event. So if you can make it out to uh, an event like that, please just take time and do so. It's it, uh, it's honestly one of the, the greatest experiences I, I've ever had in my whole life. So. But look at this, man. 34 players. We're now moving into the last few circles. And people are tunneling. So we saw it on the European scene, man. If you've got a port of fortress you can literally consume everything around you. And uh, you're in a good spot. We haven't seen anybody use port of fortresses here toward the end of the game. I'm kind of hoping someone has one. I'm bored now with Liquid Chap. One thing I gotta say, this Team Liquid team has a uh, uh, squad organization, has so much respect from their peers. Every pro player I talk to, and I ask them, hey, who are some of the best players? Who are the people you respect the most? They almost always say, Poach, 72 hours. A lot of these Team Liquid individuals who are just so good have really redefined the meta. And uh, meanwhile, United oh, okay. picked up two. A por uh, Porter Rift gonna actually pick up Ghost Ghoul and I think his teammate. And 30 people left. The action's about to break down here. Check out Ghoul. They should, they, they should take their time here. They want to be careful not to get. I, uh, yeah. Oh wow. I feel Demo's like I would have just. I feel like I would have just stayed up high, man. Just bide as much time as you can, and but they decide to just dive down, fortify. That's smart. I'll give it to them. But it's like you're saying, dude. Thirty players left. Look at look at the space that we're operating in right now. How does this space hold thirty players? All right. Well, now it's twenty nine. Okay. My bad. Miscounted. Yep. I'm bored now. Liquid chaps still. What are your thoughts on the Team Liquid team? You've had a chance to watch them week in and week out. Uh, dude, they're unbelievable. They are, again, consistent players. I got to actually meet 72 Hours and Chap um, and a few of the other ones. Uh, Vivid as well. And honestly, they're just really down-to-earth people. And Yep, completely agreed. Look at Zate. Zate is another player outside of the Liquid squad. If it wasn't Liquid, it was Zate who gets a lot of respect from his peers. And you see why right now. Look at the great building. Zate. Not sure uh, where, where he comes from. I know English isn't his first language as well. Speaks some great English, though, and he's going to get taken out here. He gets shut down by Hogman of Complexity. Zayt's going to be tunneled here. And look at the uh, high hill battle. It's going to be a build off. For the first time in skirmish history, you might see them building to max height because they're pretty high right now. Have you ever yeah. seen that before where they build to max height? No. T typically, people come down far before far that. Far before that. They're I've like, never seen it happen. Nah, that's it, too high. Yeah, if it does happen, I'll lose my mind. We see it happen all the time in playgrounds when you're practicing your building, but yeah. never in a skirmish before, that's for sure. At 72 hours oh. in chat. <gasps> He's got a port of fortress. He's got one. Massive. Here we go. We might see it. 72 big hours fan of has one. We might see it for the first time here. Chap and 72 hours. Who is it? None other than the liquid duo. Of course, I believe usually Poach and 72 hours are the duo. So a slight change here. They know they are, are, are practiced for this, but maybe not, maybe not super well practiced. We'll see. Look at him. He's got it right there. So the port of fortress. There it goes he down. It. He placed it. It's go. an instant gigantic metal fort. It's an instant build. Oh, does my goodness. Uh, build up over time, and look at this. Sick. Players are going down left and right. 22 players fall out. Unbelievable. Somehow, though, despite the Portal Fortress, it's going to be Ghost Snood, who has height advantage here. He is, I believe, the, at the highest point right now, I think. I didn't see anyone above him, and it's going to be a shield bone. No, look at this. Multiple layers. We've seen three layers, high, mid, and low. This is at least four or five layers of builds right now. Bunch of eliminations go through. 72 hours picks up a double on the Envy Boys. Meanwhile, C9 Shivzy grabs one. Wildcat gets taken out by Lenane. I'm not sure if Lenane is still alive, but it is Ghost Snood who's sitting nice and comfortable here. I think the mid ground, I'm not sure where they are. It's an unbelievable end game right now. 14 a lot. Man, we've gone from 22 to 14. No, nothing. There's a change, but not a big enough change. Yep. Poach is still up. Not sure if 72 hours is up as well. Poach. Hogman. Also in high ground. In a pretty good position here to win this one. Check out their heels, though. Hogman has nothing. For heels. Yeah. 
I mean, he's got 900 uh, materials, though, 900 wood. Poach did down one, knocked one, and uh, and then got eliminated. So I'm not sure if he picked up the limb or if the revive is coming through. Or the, res the resurrect, uh, yeah, the revive. Oh, gosh, you do not want to hear the sounds of rockets being fired. And I believe Hogman is going to build down and ramp, uh, trying to just cover some distance here. What is going on? There's 13 players left alive. I mean, honestly, this circle is going to close very quickly, yeah. very soon. And we, there needs to, people need to make decisions. They need to try and make some plays. Yeah, check this out. Jack and Ashton of Fortnite. They're still alive. 13 players left. Both of them with good heals right now. Good HP, solid resource management as well. Looking to be in a pretty good position here against Corros of Sen. An animal, animal, an absolute beast living up to the name. Port of Forge is going to be placed, I believe, wasn't it? I, it's everything I is tell. happening so fast, it's hard to tell. It's gone from 12 to 10. It's not. Tempo and Jailmock in a good spot. The medkit's going to oh, come no. through. I think we're coming down to a heal off. It's Tempo with two medkits. Jailmock actually gave him the medkit and said, hey, this is all you, bud. Let's see if Tempo can outlast. I think he should be able to. The medkit's going to go off, and Tempo has another medkit. That should be Three. a win. And just look at this. Right here, right now, Tempo to be in a pretty good spot. He comes out on top. Wow. Can you believe it? Tempo <laughs> and Jayomak of FaZe Clan. If you're a FaZe fan, well done from them. They come out with the first place victory royale. Final moments coming in from that this. final game. Wow. So look, down there, right there. So we see Hogman trying to break through. Lenin is there as well. And I mean, they're just they're just going with the heals, you know? They're doing what they know. And Shivzy as well had heals, but they were just bandages. So that was Five just not going to work out. These standings are going to change and fluctuate over the weeks to come as well. During the week when we've got the, the trials, guys, we are in for a ton of action over the next six weeks. And I cannot wait to be part of it with you and hear what you all have to say. But game number four, here we go. Battle Bus has launched. I mean, so here's the thing. Let's talk about this. We've seen a few landings. Yep. We've seen, like, Nick now go back to Tilted Towers. Which you think I love. Nick is going to remain, and you think he's going to go back to Tilted Towers? You think he's going to try and go greasy again? I think, we'll see, I think we'll see him in Tilted. Worked okay. out really well from the last game. I know Nick loves that spot. I respect the, I re really respect the fact that he went greasy. Ghost Aiden, we yep. tune in, and he's Legion. down. Sofa is down. Yeah. Where's, where's Nick? Where is Nick? I see Legion. Okay? I don't know if Nick is down already. We'll uh, let you know as soon as we can. But Legion is there. Legion's still up. Sofa weak. Aiden knocked. Interesting situation here to start things off. I still don't see Nick anywhere to be found here. So I believe Legion might be the only one up. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. What an interesting start here. And of course, VGJ Painful representing. Interesting stuff. Wildcat as well. Some of our biggest Twitch streamers are out right now. We see Nick and we see Myth both out. What? Ninja might still be alive. That's true. The, the, the biggest Twitch streamer, of course. Oh, that was a huge drop down. Oh. Guifo. Oh, wow. Merksman takes him down. That was crazy. So that's going to be two eliminations heading their way. So, I mean, they're happier. I didn't see any other uh, of yeah, similar colors of his triangle. Oh, in tilted. Meanwhile, yeah. I love this fight. Horrify versus 72 hours. 72 hours, of course. Highly remarked by uh, in, in high regards. Marcosi's down from his, his former peers. He takes out more Gauss already. 72 hours right now in a one versus one against Horrify. It was a one versus two just minutes ago. Can he do it? Can he win the one versus two here? If anyone can do it, it is 72 hours, who really evolved the pyramid meta as an offensive and defensive mechanism. He's gonna outfield. He goes for the edit. Does he get it just yet? And look how smart he's playing this. He's gonna regain possession. Knows he's getting flanked. Look how smart 72 hours is playing this. Textbook Fortnite from 72 hours. Oh man, but there's other players here. There's also a team Smart. looking out over the uh, and typical gamer. And then uh, of course we have Hogman. Rush just shotgunned Nate Hill. Oh my goodness. Ghost Aiden is still here alive. Ten is super too. low. Yeah, You're he right. is. I mean, Popping look at shield. this, though. Both of these teams down below looking to clash, and Ghost Aiden wants a piece of it. He needs to play smart, though, because he's a lot of 1v2s, so he's a great solos player. It's the first time watching him on his play in duos. Let's see how he fights his 1v2s. I don't know I don't know if he's a big uh, solo squads type of guy, but that experience, that practice certainly helps. Aiden putting a couple good shots in to start here. Look at the building here. On controller and, edit and building and editing like he's on PC, especially with the recent patch from Epic where the build time was decreased, or the edit time, sorry, for controller players. Ah. PC. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like point ten, point one seconds now. Yeah, it was point, wasn't it point two five, and it went down to point, point one five yep, for, yeah, build, yeah. for builder pro settings. Of course, it depends what uh, what oh. settings you plan. If you're a builder pro, you get point one edit. Look at this! Look at this! Ghost Aiden, laser focus here. Hit some good initial shots, but now has no shields, low, low shields to work with. And now, I mean, just like you talked about, he's building like crazy. Look, he's only got three builds left. 
at this. Still uh, 63 players left, and this is a small replay coming in from Envy Lenane. This wasn't too long ago. Okay, so he hops down, and there was a player there. Oh, look at that, the grappler. You know, man, we haven't seen enough of the grappler. I need to see more of the grappler yep. stat. And we, saw, we we called it out. We said we're going to see more grappler in North America. They're, they're going to play with confidence, and we've seen none of that. So I want to see some grappler play. We, did, yep. we saw, I take that back. We saw more ghosts trying to make it happen. Against okay. him. He got punished. <laughs> if that was anyone else, he would have 100% got that elimination. Yeah. Aiden's against the likes of Aiden. Uh, that's a tough, yeah, that's a tall order there. Yeah, and that, actually, we haven't talked a lot about the pairings here, but I love this Lenane and Zate duo. Uh, mm -hmm. Zate, great player individually. Lenane, talk about a story in himself, representing Team Envy. I like the fact that they're coming together cross org. We got Energy and Envy, I believe, playing together. Oh, Ninja oh, is. is still here. El Jefe with two eliminations. <laughs> but Three. is Cypher PK here? I, um, so. I believe. No, oh, yes, he, is. he is. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. We Everything's got good. Okay. We got ourselves a nice little game here. Ninja with the med kit. He's going to be healed up. Cypher PK is going to have to hold down the likes of Turkey Lips and Exus. Oh, oh gosh. Double boys. Let's see what he can do Not here. Not Turkey Lips. No. That's, he's so strong. <laughs> a big shot to Turkey Lips. Such an awesome community member as well. Go school against I, Hey, I'm Hart in this one. Big fight as well. I loved seeing a hard play during the Summer Skirmish Series, so I'm excited that he's back. I'm, it's going to be super great to see his performance over the next few weeks. Yeah, couldn't agree more with that one. Ghost School so hurt right now. Saf, is, look at the Saf oh. plays with the grappler. He said he wanted a grappler play. Zeke, you're going to get it. Nice job by Saf right there. Gets his high ground. Let's see if it's going to matter. Let's see if it keeps him alive because Ghost is in a world of hurt right now. Saf pulls off the kill. Elimination uh, uh, a knock, I believe. Sorry, on double O Flower. And look at the plays from Saf. Can he get the double? No, he gets knocked by Ham Hart. Look at Na uh, Ham Hart under duress, knocks one, and lives to fight with four HP against Saf. Oh, what? he drops down Kenny. Oh, his teammate wasn't quick enough. Wow. What plays from Hart? Wow. And I believe, is he the same one against United, or was it Ghost, where he got the double elimination a couple games ago? Hart was just a phenomenal performance here in the fall skirmish, week number one. And he gets a med kit. He's got a med kit. Wow. I mean. If I'm staff, though, I'm playing with aggression here because Ghoul should be saying, hey, I had a med kit. He's probably using it right now. I don't know if the comms are coming through. So it was amazing. I had the reverse effect. I laid down on my bed. Fell <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. It yeah. Is absolute honor. You have no idea how much it means to be here. Meanwhile, big fight. Turkey Lips versus Cypher. The fight we called out earlier is finally going to break down. Turkey Lips is going to get tagged up. Nice shot by Cypher. Ninja's coming in, I believe, as well. Should be rotating soon. I think Ninja's still in the fight here somewhere. Turkey Lips in a world of hurt now. As Ninja's actually going to get shotgunned by Exus. So Ninja gets taken out. And, and uh, Cypher's going to be uh, the only one alive for that team. Representing Bush and Bandit. Sace, though. They, are, they heard these shots. Look, Turkey Lips is literally one grid space over and one grid space up. Oh, and now no. look, there's Cypher. Oh, no! His, oh, no, they were friendly fire. All right, they were friendly. Good. It's okay. I cannot. I thought he was gonna. I thought some dangerous things were gonna happen to him. There. I was gonna be like, that's impressive. If that was like a uh, him by himself type thing. Yeah. You know? yeah. Or if someone else fired through the window. Through the window instead. Yeah. That would have been ridiculous. That would have yep. been nuts. But look, Sace is down, so now Brush has to get him back up. It looks like he should be able to do here. He's Sace. getting the revive. Loves dropping, Fatal Field, Dusty, Divot, and Salty Spring. So, and look at Cypher, such a, a Cypher move to have 999 metal, 519 wood, in a good position with resources and mats. You let him rip. Not able to connect just yet. But those, those gold grenade launchers do so much damage to uh, cover. You expect him to go big. Let's see right now on screen. You we'll see Brush all with four these limbs. Eliminations. Yeah, so Brush had Ninja four. Ninja had two. I don't see Cypher on there, though. So uh, uh, Cypher has one. So Cypher needs one elimination. You guarantee that a Ninja point. is telling him, hey, play this slow. Try and third party one elim. We'll get a point there. We'll be in a much better spot. Cypher's going to do it. Actually, nope, sorry. He just got one. Dang. <laughs> I thought close. that was a second. That was actually his first that he had one down. So well done by Cypher to pick up the first, at least. And now, I mean, look at the new safe zone fallout. It's north. <sighs> They have to go so far. Yeah. And oh, Cuddy's down, but it's a er, B Sox is down. B Sox, Cuddy's, uh, Cuddy's down. And posts up. Cypher's gonna do the same exact thing. Smart plays from him. Meanwhile, Zoof gonna jump on board with him from Chicago, representing Cloud Nine. He uh, he loves to. He has a great ability to track and follow his teammates in fights. That's one thing. If you've probably played squads or duos, you know it's, it's easy to lose track of your teammates. Zook is very very good at that. One thing he thinks he can do a little bit better is rotations. He feels like he can make better calls in rotations. He's of course working on that. Big shot to Zoof. And I'm excited to see what he can do right now. He currently has two. I'm not sure how many eliminations. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. There's still so much happening. Now we're down to 24 players. 30 seconds, and then the storm will start to move. 
You know what I want to see? I want to see him open up that wall, Zoof, and then start grappling. Just start grappling aggressively and just shifting where he is. Yep. I want to keep a close eye on sight for PK. Perfect. It's almost like the production team heard me. Gonna jump on board with him. He's gonna drop a little bit here. I want to see him hold his high ground. Play patient. He needs one more elim. Finds Bizzle, but Bizzle is tough to eliminate. As Cypher gonna get flanked here. Needs to watch his back though. Bizzle could tag him up from behind. He's not going to. Cypher gets the high ground. Good positioning from Cypher. Good patience from Cypher as well. One of the best at that as well. As he's gonna be able to maintain high ground here. And he's the only person alive who's holding high ground. That goes to show how good he is. Oh man, he was really stressing me out there with those builds yeah. and the building up and then building down with the ramps. Great mechanics though. So. Yeah, it's very hard to do that. And it's he just has to stay hard. patient here, Zeke. He has high ground. Eventually he's gonna find a, a knock. Eventually he will. It's gonna open up. Stay patient, find a knock on any of these little ants that are crawling underneath you. And one of them is uh, in the form of Merksman. He's looking at Zate. He's looking at a lot of these open opportunities. And Cypher should be able to grab one. If you're a Ninja fan, if you're a Cypher fan, let's hear it in the chat right now. Let's hear it on Twitter using hashtag fall skirmish for Bush Bandits, they are currently they were in first place coming into this one, and Cypher is looking to secure that first place finish for Bush Bandits. With 17 players left fallout. We are now shifting yet again. We're going south this time. So again, Cypher is just looking for an additional elimination. One more elimination would put him, him and Ninja at one point, which would be huge, huge coming out of this game. And if he can just survive the top five, he'll get another point. Oh my gosh, both huge opportunities for them. They need your energy. Cypher is, has a huge task, a mountain to climb ahead of him. Alone in this one, he's still alive. Jared FPS gonna get taken out. Someone plays themselves, so no elimination picked up there. And Cypher still has high control. Look at High Distortion, very tagged up. He's gonna start bandaging up as well. Cypher staying patient. Look how patient he is here. So many players would have dropped and tried to chase an elimination. So many players. Not Cypher. Not Cypher. I mean, that's right, man. He's just waiting. He's literally waiting for one player to make a single misstep. He's gonna take advantage of that. But what's really scary is how many players, how many names we see still within this circle. You've yeah. got the likes of Animal, High Distortion, Merksman, Zate. I mean, there's so many terrifying names here. Yeah, and look at his mats too. Cypher has to be very cautious. Too. He dropped to low side, so he got rid of the steal that he had. Bizzle with the flank. Nice shots from Bizzle. The fact that Bizzle's still alive, given his positioning on the portal fortress is gonna be placed here. Look at this, he's stuck. He's trying to chop his way out of it. He's gonna do exactly that. Ghost Bizzle somehow manages to survive, but it's gonna be so hard for him to get through. He does, he gets an elimination. Ghost Bizzle does it again. Unbelievably finds Maiden. Vapor Jesus checked out early there. Down to eight players. Animal down below, you see, and above there's a player. I mean, this is coming down to the wire here in game number four. Is Cypher still alive? Eight people left. If he is still alive, he has a perfect opportunity to get a placement here. Still have it, hasn't picked up on a limb yet. Goes Bizzle with three. Needs one more to secure the fourth. I'm not sure if his teammate had any. That's Demo. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, Fallout. This is really intense. Yeah, look at his mats here. He's gonna go out. He's gonna go out and he actually uses the bounce pad. He oh, finds Cypher. Bizzle, and he's gonna get a high ground. Ghost Bizzle takes the high ground. Can he get the limb? No, not just yet. Ghost Bizzle, some way, somehow, only has minis though. I think if I'm Ghost Bizzle, I gotta play down. I gotta play for this. He knows it. He's gonna edit. He drops. Not enough time. He's gonna get taken out here. Ghost Bizzle, a valiant effort. Oh, he almost was able to. He no, he shot him. He got the fourth and the fifth, I believe. Oh. My goodness, the FPS gets the victory out. Congratulations to him. Oh. But the story is Ghost Bizzle. Who does that? Builds out into the storm, places a bounce pad, and immediately bounce pads back into the tiny shrinking storm. The current standings to see where players are at currently. So with two games left to go, Bizzle and Demo right there at the top. Now I'd be curious to see who is currently holding the throne, because don't forget at the end of everything, whoever holds the throne is going to walk away with an additional prize. But, and again, only top 10 will uh, receive uh, a prize here. So, I mean, the likes of Gorilla and Shivsi, even painful uh, attendance, very close by. Yeah. And uh, yeah. with two games left to go, man, it's only...